Hello everybody, it's July 12th and it's time for the State Fair Weekend here at Pickle Park. Uh, Walker Stadium to those who don't know. Anyway, it's a great day for baseball and well, as normal I got Mike Checks on my right, right, and I have Mags Magdaleno on my left. Um, take his hand, would you? Well, thank you Mr. President. Coach, glad <laughs> to have you back here at Walker Stadium. It's good to be uh, back. It's been a while. I feel like it's been a while since we uh, we got to do this. You all finished off the sweep of Walla Walla that was started much earlier in the year. Right. Uh, picked up the win that night, then went on the road and took two or three from Springfield. Uh, and I guess we didn't ever really got a chance to talk about the end of the first half. You all finished uh, in second place at the end of the first half. Yeah, you know, uh, second best overall record in the WCL. Just a tough division. It's the SEC of the. Uh, of the WCL, yeah, it is. Uh, so everybody in this division is a really good team. I'm not saying anything bad about any other divisions. I'm just saying that this division is extremely tough, top to bottom, and uh, so we're fortunate. Well, Springfield, Springfield played you tough. Y'all, uh, y'all dropped the first game by one, but then came back and uh, and had a couple of more lopsided scores, specifically the middle game there. Uh, you know, the, the, there's a presence in the lineup now, um, and, it's, and it's a good presence. Uh, we can we can lead off with Patrick and, and follow him up with the big fella, you know, yep. uh, Frederick, and uh, so that just gives everybody better pitches to hit. It's extremely hard to, to pitch against the lineup, and it's going to get better in um, four days, six or five days. You keeping under wraps again? No, Dalton Mayshore will be here. All uh, right. So that would give us uh, the presumed lineup would go uh, Keegan, Frederick, Mayshore. Nice and bump everybody start. back. And, yeah, those are all. Um, Draftable players, right? And big-time players. Uh, actually, Dalton is a uh, is going to University of South Carolina for his graduate year. Uh, he got a good NIL deal, and he's going to finish there if he doesn't go in the draft. Uh, if he goes in the draft, we won't get him. But I think I think we have a good shot at getting him. Who doesn't want to go play in the SEC for a year, right? Right. Yeah. Oh man, that'll be be great to have the formal former pickle back. Uh, so Ben Elks coming to town for three. You're two and a half up on them in the overall standings and half a game up on them in the second half. This is a big series. No, it's not no? a big series. No. Okay. You guys are all looking at it wrong. The, the thing is to get into the tournament. The thing is to win every series. The thing is to, to have as good a record as you possibly can and put people out of reach so that you are in the tournament. Um, I, I, I firmly believe there shouldn't be a first or second half. That's my opinion. I think there should just be one long season and top four teams go. This sort of a old school approach to it, right? So. Uh, that means every game is important. You can't structure your lineup so that it's or your roster so that you got guys coming in after the first half because they're done with their their their, their games or they're getting released from other from other leagues. I think you got to build from the very start, and I think that's what we what we do here. We try to win every series, and then and where we end, we end. You know, and if we end with a, with the best or second best or the you know fourth best record in the, in our division, then we'll go in playoffs. And once you once you get to the dance, it means you get to you get to play. That's right. You got Noel, Noel Valdez going this evening, the righty from UC Davis. This is only a second appearance at Walker Stadium. What can people expect from him? Uh, heavy changeups. Okay. Uh, this is out pitch. He's, he, he's good with it. He's a competitor. Expect to get about four innings out of him because he's on an inning limit, and then okay. we'll go to our bullpen. Right on, which has been strong this season. And uh, I wanted you to talk just a second about someone you alluded to earlier, Carter Frederick. We hadn't really gotten a chance to talk about him yet. Uh, as you mentioned, from the University of Oklahoma, six four outfielder, and he's made an impact already. Hey, six foot four, two hundred thirty five pounds, runs a six 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 sixty, plus throwing arm, plus defender. Um, he's only been in the league now for four games now, four mm -hmm. games. He's been intentionally walked at least twice, um, so they know who he is. I mean, uh, my phone. Is the minute we signed him, it started ringing with scouts. There'll be a bunch here tonight just to watch him take batting practice and so forth. Uh, he got a special invitation to the All-Star Game to work out. Probably will not play. Okay. Uh, so we're excited about that as well. Right on. Well, watching him defend uh, while you were all down in Springfield, he's not afraid to lay out for a play. He's a gamer. He's infectious. Uh, he's infectious in the clubhouse. Um, I would liken it to um, the year that Kurt Gibson and the Dodgers won the, the championship. He brings us that, that same type of intensity. There's no messing around. He just wants to play baseball. And so uh, we, were, we were good, and he just was making us a little bit better. He's definitely been fun to watch. Last day, I wanted to give the team uh, flowers as far as where they stand in the WCL after the first half, batting, pitching, and fielding. Uh, I don't know how closely you look at this. I know some of our fans definitely care about that, but 
First in hit by pitches and sacrifice hits overall. Second in walks, OBP, and runs. I find none of that surprising. That's the way we build our team. Uh, you'll see that we're probably bottom five, bottom ten at least in hitting. Um, because, we, again, we started off slow, um, and now we're starting to swing it a little bit better. We, uh, we executed our small ball game, and we can play that game if we have to, but now we can we can hit a little bit, uh, knock on wood, right? Right. Um, all those things produce runs. Um, like I said before, we're not here to do anything but to promote our to, to promote our players, but also to have them play within a team concept and play for the, the name on the front of their jerseys and not the name on the back of the jersey. Uh, so they play for each other and they play for, as a team. So that's that's what we want, that's what we build here. And if you look at what we've done here over the last nine years, I was talking to you guys, just you yesterday about it. Mm -hmm. Alan, our president, our owner, told me a couple of weeks ago that uh, Commissioner and I did a report and that we were top four win percentage over the last nine years. So that's a well, pretty good kept secret, but I, I knew what the stat was. Well, I'm glad to know somebody's yeah. pretty good. Good yeah. job, Coach. So we, you know, we just here we just try to win. Like we we're going to try to win game 24 today. That's well, all we're trying to do. Well, your pitching has been great. Uh, fewest hits overall, lowest opponent slugging and batting average. First in strikeouts, seconds in shutouts, ERA, and uh, allowed uh, and uh, whip. Everybody here was recruited for the same reason. That's their competitors. A, uh, they've got good stuff, and they have a variety of different looks, different angles on their arms. I did a lot of work when I was recruiting the team on how I wanted to put this uh, pitching staff together, specifically the bullpen. It was done with uh, a lot of reasons in mind, and um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We've got a long way to go. Right now, it's, it's doing a, a decent job. Well, and I'm sure juggling innings and availability is just an ongoing concern uh, throughout the season, especially for the bullpen. Yeah, winning does a lot of things that have to keep good attitudes in the clubhouse, right? Everybody wants to get their shot, and whether it's an inning, it's an important inning. Uh, there's no throwaway innings in Portland. So, and just like all the other programs, there's no throwaway innings. Every inning is important. Well, and last, I wanted to touch on the fielding. Second fewest errors uh, in the entire league. Uh, second in fielding percentage and third in assists. Uh, and we've had some great assists from the outfield, especially this year. Yeah, they. Um, we've always built a team. Any team that I've, I've been fortunate enough to build has always been built around pitching and defense. Uh, it's an old school approach. I think that pitching and defense travel. Um, and you can uh, you travel. It helps you on the road for sure. Well, coach, as always, I appreciate it. Good luck tonight uh, against Bend. Uh, do you have anything you wanted to add, sir? Come down to State Fair weekend. Uh, if you haven't got your tickets yet, you should. It's going to be a blast. But in the meantime, go, go Pickles! pickles.